One of the most important but often neglected part of our health is brain function. So let's make a recipe today that focuses just on that. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel where we gather together every week in the kitchen and we create delicious and healthy recipes. Today, we're going to be making brain-boosting beet bites. Let's begin today by roasting our beets. I recommend roasting at least three so that you have leftovers for other recipes like salads, smoothies, oatmeal, and other baked goods. Chop off the stem and greens. You can definitely save the greens for juicing. And then taking either coconut, olive, or avocado oil, rub the outside of each beet and then place them on a parchment-lined baking sheet. Beets contain dietary nitrates, which assist in relaxing and dilating blood vessels for supported healthy blood pressure. So it just makes sense then that these nitrates also help support healthy blood flow to the brain. Sprinkle them with just a little bit of pink Himalayan or sea salt, about 1 8 a teaspoon, and then roast in a 400 degree preheated oven for about 50 minutes or until a fork can be inserted into each beet easily. Allow your beets to cool slightly and then using a knife, slice off both ends and gently peel away the skin. Chop up the beet that you're using for the recipe and then store the remaining beets in a sealed glass container in the refrigerator for future use. Now we are ready to assemble our beet bites. In your food processor, add in one cup of gluten-free rolled oats, two third a cup of pecans, which contain minerals that may support healthy brain function, one cup of pitted dates, which is about 10 large dates, and these will be our sweetener today. They'll also bind together all of the ingredients. Next, let's add in the chopped and roasted beet, one third a cup of unsweetened shredded coconut, two tablespoons of ground flaxseed. Now, if possible, I highly recommend grinding them up right before you use them. Two tablespoons of cocoa powder that is rich in flavonoids, which may help protect brain function and memory. One eighth a teaspoon or more or less of cayenne pepper and one eighth a teaspoon of pink Himalayan or sea salt. Pulse together your ingredients, scraping down the sides as needed. The mixture will definitely be thick. The longer you let your processor run, the smoother the consistency will be. Give your mixture a quick taste. For a sweeter version, simply add in one to two tablespoons of honey or your preferred sweetener. Be sure that the mixture does stick together when pressed between your fingers. Shape into desired sized balls. I'm measuring with a one and a half tablespoon cookie dough scooper, and then roll into some additional shredded coconut to coat. If the mixture is too sticky, simply refrigerate for about 30 minutes before you shape into your bites. It is taste test time. Let's give these beet bites a bite. <laughs> These are such a fun color and flavor. I'm loving the cayenne pepper, just that little bit of spice, but I always like that. Um, these are super tasty. They're not too sweet, um, and I love the taste of the pecans. So you can really play with the flavor of these. You could add in some orange zest, some chocolate chips, some dried cranberries, and other types of sweetener, if you want to sweeten it up a little bit. These are so fun, they're delicious, and so good for you. Thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks for being a part of our community, for caring about your health, and together we really can make a difference. I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Bye-bye.